Hi, I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at uh, Magna Centers for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology at uh, BTM Bangalore. How should Cushing syndrome be managed? So primarily I'll tell you Cushing syndrome is a very multivaried uh, syndrome. So it could be because of various causes. In fact, the most frequent cause is actually exogenous steroid use actually. Somebody has given either a doctor or a self-medication has resulted in steroid excess. So simply reducing or stopping the steroid will take care of the Cushing syndrome. So if it is an endogenous steroid excess, the most common cause of that is actually a small pituitary tumor. But unfortunately for us, this pituitary tumor is actually very difficult to eradicate. Though it's tiny and we can remove it surgically, it tends to be multifocal. So it tends to be in different spots within the pituitary gland. So if you remove it, it again tends to grow back. About 60% of uh, patients with endogenous Cushing syndrome remain untreated at the end of uh, uh, maybe a couple of years. So, uh, you know, we are looking at uh, various uh, treatment options for treating. Uh, Cushing syndrome. We could treat with radiotherapy. So we can irradiate the pituitary gland itself so that the tumor producing cells become quiet. The problem is that can affect other pituitary cells which are normal as well. Then you can have a situation wherein uh, the Cushing syndrome is because of an adrenal tumor. So these are more easier to deal with. So if you just remove the tumor which is causing uh, Cushing syndrome, the patient will be free of symptoms very quickly and it leads to a 100% cure rate. Uh, so depending upon what is the cause of Cushing syndrome, you can you have varying degrees of difficulty in treating Cushing syndrome. But uh, the underlying uh, uh, premise is that you know endogenous Cushing syndrome is more difficult to treat, and uh, exogenous Cushing syndrome is typically very easy to treat. You just remove the offending drug, then the patient gets better.